Liu Sheng here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. Today is July 27th, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 115 of this year. In this video, we're going to go after fish that are a little bit bigger, okay? We're actually going for one of those legendary Pokemons, right? The Northern Snakehead, aka the Shana Argus. I've caught some snakeheads back in the days, as you guys know, it is an invasive species of fish, right? Here in the United States of America, it is illegal to stock, to stock anywhere with the snakeheads or even um, carry live, right? From one pond to another or one watershed to another. Uh, here in Philadelphia County, there's really one spot that I have caught snakeheads before, which is the FDR Park. And for the past few years, I have heard rumors that there have been sightings of snakeheads in this particular watershed that I am at today. So the main objective of this video is for me to confirm, see if there are really any snakeheads around here, right? Will we be able to encounter some, see some? And if they are around, hopefully I'm going to catch one in this video. The quest for the snakehead only for a day it starts right now stay tuned well folks to catch this legendary pokemon we will need to use legendary techniques <laughs> no i'm just messing around <laughs> i'm getting my gear set up over here but i just wanted to show you guys i'm going to be using a combination of three different types of lures in this video we got one of our favorites right here mr gary yamamoto right because one of them for today, one of the lures we're going to be using is Wacky Rigged Senkos. The second one that we're going to be using is Top Water. I got some Super Strikes here on the side. I got my Mice Collection and my Frog Collection. Even got a little Jumping Frog here, right, in the Tackle Box. And then the third type of lure that I'm going to be using for the day is the good old trusted Z-Man Chatterbait, right? I'm going to play according to the circumstances. I'm going to be exploring this canal over here up and down. And if I see any snakeheads, I'm just going to cast it right over there, right? So let's hope that we find some today. I think, I think I'm going to get started over here. This spot actually looks pretty juicy. In particular, this little place right over here. Oh, got a hit. Fish on! First fish of the day on the Senko. Not bad, dude. Yeah, all right. Solid. Not bad, not bad. First large of the day on the Senko, huh? Because <laughs> the wacky rigged really never fails you. Nice. Let's take a shot and release this guy. Not bad, folks, for the first fish of the day. Not bad at all. Little largemouth bass, one pounder. I would say 1.25, right? Nothing big, nothing huge. I'm just gonna release, you know what? I'm just gonna release it over here, all right? Haven't seen any snakeheads today yet. So I'm just fooling around with the Senko for a little bit, exploring, and guess what? This spot did pay off. Ah, come on, bro. Shaded area on the other side. Two threes. There's got to be a fish there, right? There's got to be a fish there. Come on, perfect textbook. What? No fish? Nani? It's like the anime reactions, man. Really nothing? Only a turtle. Look at that. Long, look, only a turtle after my sinkhole. Look, look at the turtle after my sinkhole. Look, he's swimming all the way back. Look, 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 look. Are you kidding me? Yo, exercise turtle. Exercise boy. Look at that. Oh, he gave up. Finally realized, right? Something's wrong with his worm. Anyways. Fishing for bass and looking for snakeheads is about covering water. So may as well move spots and just keep walking until we spot one out there. True story, my people. 
You guys see that little pipe there that is dropping, that has got water flowing out of it? If you guys go to One Rod, One Rod Fishing's channel, one of his first ever videos on his channel was shot right over here. I'm in it too. You know, we used to fish this place a lot back in the days. This place brings me good memories, man. We landed so many largemouth bass back in the days. That was the time that Mike was still getting his degree in biology from Drexel University and I was getting my physics degree from Temple University. Wow, this is like, <laughs> no joke, this is like years ago, you know? Uh, but some things, man, doesn't matter how far and how old you get, some things you just never forget. Ladies and gentlemen, I may have potentially seen my first snakehead of the day. I am not so sure. I just saw the tail of the fish kind of going away. So I kind of changed my Senko right now to my little jump frog in hopes that if the snakehead is still around here, I will be able to catch it. Dude, there's a snakehead right in front of me. Do you guys see it? It went to the shadows right now. I'm trying to catch it. Oh my goodness. It tried to get it. Try to get it. It's very aggressive, dude. Try to get it. Oh my goodness, did you guys see that? I almost got it. I attacked the jump frog. Oh my goodness, bro. This time it took it, it took it under. See that? Again. Dude, this is a real weird snake head. It hit my jump frog like three times, but it didn't really take it. I think it is either too small or just not very hungry. So I'm changing techniques, man. And I'm actually going with the unexpected. I got a little swim shed right here that is very, very darn juicy. And I think it is going to land us this fish. Let's see. On the swim shed. Oh my goodness, dude. Hit it like a train freight, bro. I got it. Look at that. Northern snake head, son. Hit the swim shed, bro. Let's flip it up. Oh yeah. Dude. Took a good while to get this fish, my man. Woo! Did you see that? In inhaled it, dude. <laughs> literally, literally the beast here. Inhaled it, bro. You can't even see the little swim shed. Ooh, it's shaking, dude. You see how it's shaking? Even the Frankenfish right here shakes when he sees the Asian. You see that? Dang. Man, took a little while for me to put the gripper on this fish. I just want to show you guys. Look at this. Look at the. Uh, it really doesn't want to open yet. Look at the swim shed. How far deep it is in its mouth. You guys see that? Wow, bro. <laughs> he really, really wanted it, huh? All right, let me unhook this guy and take a shot. Oh, oh yeah, this was a neat catch, folks. So here's a final view of our northern snakehead, the Shana Argus. I'm going to let you guys uh, ponder if I'm going to release this fish or keep this fish. Man, it really ate that swimming shed like it really, really wanted it awesome catch for the day for sure but yeah folks uh, I know that even if I keep it or release it folks are probably gonna talk about it so I will leave for you guys to ponder upon it all right well that's what I get for turning the GoPro on I didn't really have my GoPro on so I didn't really uh, get the footage of me catching this little chunky fella right here also on the Senko though so I'm just going to do a quick release of this guy let me see if I can uh, 
Just point the GoPro. And there it goes, it's gone. Third one of the day. Senko is actually working fairly good today. Ain't gonna lie, man, ain't gonna lie. It's been a good day so far. Damn, look at that big carp just fitting there. Like nothing is going on. Hey, Mr. Carp. Are you okay, Mr. Carp? Wow, he does not give a damn, man. Didn't even get spooked like that, you know? Savage. That's a nice cast. Fair. Oh, got a hit. Got a hit, got a hit. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Boy, come up here to to the Asian guy. I was going to say to daddy, but not bad. Oh, not bad, not bad, dude. Not bad, not bad. Turn, 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 turn. Not bad. Two pounder, two pounder, two pounder. Oh yeah, fat. That's all I have to say, son. Fat. All right, let's take a look here. Gripper point one one, I would say 1.75 to two pounds, something like that. Let's see what we got here. We got one point, 1.74, right? Minus one one, 1 1.63. So this is actually closer to one and a half pounder. Chunky fella, I have to say, right? For this particular place that I'm fishing, this is a fairly decent fish. All right, time to let it go. All right, boss, time for you to get back in the water, go back, and hopefully you can have more and more babies year after year, all right? Booyah, gone. Not bad, man. This bridge, bridge is always produced. <sighs> man, I've walked and walked and walked this canal, and, uh, I think it is about time to call it a day. You know, folks, after catching the last bass, I've walked a good distance here in this canal. I've been looking, right, with my Oakley polarized glasses all around, and I only saw one more snakehead other than the one that I caught in this video. I mean, I don't doubt that there are snakehead in this place. That is confirmed, right? But I think that in terms of numbers, they, there is still not a lot of them around here right now. In the future, that's a different story. After all, this canal is connected to the Delaware watershed, so you just never know. Before I finish this video, I would like to give a few disclaimers so that if there are kids watching especially, right? Disclaimer number one, you may have noticed that today EPF was fishing around train tracks. Please understand that the train tracks around here are private train tracks that are already out of service they have been out of service for decades okay uh you guys just saw right in this outro a car just passed through the train tracks and uh, one part of the train tracks is closed kids if you're watching this please do not go fishing around active train tracks not only it is illegal it is very dangerous okay and disclaimer number two before i finish this video you guys may have realized that i did not film uh, me taking or releasing the snakehead, right? I mean, this particular species of fish, the, deba the debate in the communities is still pretty hot, right? There are two groups of people out there. And I kind of realized that if I show the release or if I showed me taking it, one portion of people here on the channel just wouldn't be happy, right? Because if you release it, there are always the folks who will come over and be like, Leo, why are you putting invasive species of fish back in the wild, right? And then if you take it, there's the other group of folks who will come over and be like, why are you taking this species? It is a wonderful species and it needs to be naturalized. So I did not include any footage after that final view. I will leave that for you to ponder, right? What I did with that fish, but but needless to say it is time for me to go get something to eat thank you very much for watching this video folks epf doesn't usually go after the green fish right but uh, when i do at least i catch something out here right 
tie lines. I will see you all next time. Snack don't, dude. Oh my goodness, bro. I got snack like real bad. What the hell? I guess I could kind of. Uh, the things that we do to get our stuff back. Uh, I'm snagged, I'm snagged, dude. Uh, I'm almost sure there's a fish over here, though.